Luckily I found at the train station, said a distant voice, for some reason they were all dressed as wizards. Oh my god, shouted the voice, stop! Alice explained what was going on, while the man swiftly put my head back together. And this is Simeon, said Alice. The man insisted I called him Sim, and apologized for attempting to hack my CPU. <coughs> Alice laughed and said, Sorry, Sim tends to sneeze whenever he's stressed or nervous. I was worried you were like other robots. I'm glad you're okay though. I've had mixed results in the past. This is Betty, said Sim, and this idiot is Fluffers. It's like they're our children, said Alice, although it's strange, it was them that sort of found us. And even before Sim had reprogrammed them, they were kind of nice to me. Betty even tried to clean up some of my rubbish. So, said Mr. Silton, the reason we're visiting is our little robot friend wants to see Heather and her mum again. Plus he tells me that there's some sort of problem with escaped nanobots in the old house. <coughs> Alice looked puzzled. What do you need me for then, she said. I'm assuming you've not broken the habit of a lifetime and thrown away Sim's security pass. Sim smirked at Alice. It'll be here somewhere. Mr. Silton smiled. Excellent, he said. Then I presume you've still got that video camera you stole when you were working on Richard and Judy. Sim guided us down a set of basement stairs, well, thanks to Alice's quirky hobby, he sighed as he flicked the light on. We've still got everything. Mr. Silton smiled. Then, he said, I think I've got a plan. Achoo! Although I would have loved to have stayed in Alice's picturesque town, it was time to get back on the train and continue my quest. don't have anything, said the dirty old man. Now hop it. It looked like I would need a ticket to get through the fairgrounds automatic doors. Now then, said the dirty old man, let's see what you've got, there's nothing of value here. Go on then, said the younger man, stick everything in Bertha. The clouds were gathering as we pulled into Factory Ten and the Professor's factory. Uh. 
cold specks of rain began to fall as I stepped off the train onto the deserted platform. The station looked as if it hadn't been used in years, there were no conductors, no ticket barriers, not even an up-to-date timetable. The place was like a ghost town. Actorator, this is Actorator. Mind the doors. The train is now departing. The security system jumped to life, I knew the only way I could deactivate it was to destroy its power source, 
That's when I spotted a perfect shiny surface. Maybe I could deflect one of the lasers toward the generator. <laughs>